There's also a pneumatic trigger uh, system which attaches to the sampler. The snap sampler is the same way as um, as the sampler attaches to each other. So this cable goes between one sampler to the next. This pneumatic system actually has a plunger that moves up with air pressure and that does the trigger pulling for you. Um, to assemble the uh, pneumatic trigger system for the first time, uh, the system comes with a wrench tool. Um, there's a small um, ferrule nut inside the top of the uh, pneumatic actuator, which you'll remove that nut with this wrench tool to remove that nut. Be careful inside here, there are ferrules that you don't want to lose, so don't lose those. You can set this aside and to attach the trigger line, this is the shortest trigger line, um, only a foot long. This could be hundreds or even a you know, thousand or more feet long. The trigger line attaches to the top of that actuator um, by feeding the uh, polyethylene tubing through that line and then fitting the ferrule, the nut and ferrules through that line too, okay? And then what you do is feed that into the top of the pneumatic actuator part. And then what you're gonna do, once you've fed that in, is use this wrench to tighten that nut. What you're gonna do is tighten that nut tight enough, so by hand, you're not gonna use a tool, but you're just tighten this as tight as you can, basically, until it makes a little squeak sound. So that little squeak sound tells you that it's tight. What you want to do is pull this as hard, basically as hard as you can to make sure that that doesn't come loose. So now your trigger line is attached to your pneumatic actuator, and then the actuator attaches to your snap samplers. So now in this case, this would attach to the top of the string of snap samplers, set the set screw to hold them together, and then set this, uh, this top cap like that. And this cable then feeds through and attaches to the release pin system just like the other ones do.